Hello and welcome to Seti Reviews. Here we have a Home Story LED battery string lights. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, open it up. Really cool box. I like these boxes where they actually put a little bit of work into it, you know. It's not just, you know, simple cardboard. It has something on it. It's just... Uh, it, it doesn't ma of course it doesn't matter but I'm just saying that it shows you know the dedication of the company that they actually you know put some effort into the box itself so it's it's quite good so we get uh, two in a pack I'm not sure how long they are but uh, they have a remote and they have no batteries included but that's how it uh, opens up that's a switch in here you can manually switch it if you want I reviewed uh, something similar before by uh, another company or something, so uh, let's open this up and um, where's this thing? There we go. Uh, I'll see if I can find some batteries and demonstrate how they work. Alright, they got some batteries here. They got the uh, double A's, that's what they take. Obviously, this is how the batteries go. It does say plus and minus, but I mean, that's kids play. If you don't know how to put the batteries in, then you need to like knock yourself on the head and ask, Hello, anybody home? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> right. This button here should turn it on without using the remote. There we go. Uh, you can just swap through the mode, so you don't really need the remote if you want to use it or if you lose it. Get it? <laughs> if you want to use it or you lose it. <laughs> Let's open the remote up. Let's open from the sideways. Whatever, it didn't even open. All the remotes, they usually whoops, uh, come with this kind of thing. See? That that thing that's uh, between the battery contacts. So you have to pull this out. Uh, that's just to prevent the battery from going flat. Because there's this kind of trickle charge or whatever you ha uh, call it. But uh, let's do this. Let's put this in there. Uh, <coughs> whoops. It didn't do anything. It doesn't work. There you go. Now it worked. Uh, mode 1, mode 2, I, I want them steady on, stop it. Uh, let's try the dimmability, that doesn't do anything, does it? Okay, I think it, yeah, it did went a little bit brighter, see? It goes unbright and bright. You can't see it through the camera, because camera automatically adjusts for the light. Uh, check this out, if I stick it in the camera, then see? Camera automatically adjusts, see? That's why you can't see it, so... Uh, brightness, I don't know, they're um, quite bright. I'm not still uh, sure how long they are. I think it's like 5 meters or something like this. Yeah, it's pretty much sure it's 5 meters. I can just unravel it all day long, but that's how they look like. It's not colored, it's just uh, white color, and that's it. You get two of them in the back, and you can see two remotes, two lights. Uh, one remote has to work on both because uh, they weren't like labeled like one and two, so it's just, you know, basic, basic remote thing. I uh, also have it on a timer. Uh, timer, I think it should turn it off after a while. I need to check it from the manual how long the timer is, if you're interested. All right, so the timer function um, is basically you turn it on. It doesn't turn on with the timer. You have to press the on button, and then you press the timer. It blinks, and now it will stay on for six hours. Then it's going to turn off for 18 hours, and after that, it's going to turn on again for six hours. So it's, for example, uh, if you know, come home from work or something and you want to uh, put them on for like six hours then it automatically can do that however <laughs> I don't think these batteries are gonna hold for more than like 10 hours anyway so um, I don't know I've had experience with these kind of things before and the batteries run out quite fast so I will probably cut the wire and put them on a USB USB is roughly about same you know the give or take you know few volts <laughs> not few volts <laughs> maybe like one volt or something like this half a volt actually each of these is 1.5 volts uh, rechargeable ones are 1.2 but well non-rechargeable the um, alkaline ones or whatever you call them are 1.5 what they're supposed to be so that is uh, 4.5 volts using batteries and USB is 5 volts so you can easily convert it to USB very easy to do by the way but well, here you have these cool looking uh, home starry LED fairy lights and I will see you next time.